Good morning and howdy everyone. Hey, I am facing due east in Houston. I've got the sun visor down a little bit because you see what happens when I take the visor back up. So y'all just excuse the shadow on my face. I'll put it all the way down so you don't see a two-tone face. I'm going to read to you real quick. I am in Houston. I'm parked at the place where my orientation is going to be. And here, I'll let you look around a little bit. Right in that building is where I go. I'm in Houston. There's a tower back there. There's tires all over the place. It was a heck of a ride in today. Oh, and I got my big handgun right down there. I always bring it when I come to Houston because it has a bigger capacity and I've got four extra clips. Because you never know what's going to happen when you're in Houston. It's a crazy, crazy place. i got to put that down some more. There you go. Okay, this is all Jesus talking here in the 17th chapter of John. And this is just before his arrest and being taken to the cross and let me get ready to turn a page here because I just got a couple of verses before I have to turn the page so let me get that ready I should have been ready before I turned the camera on but I wasn't oh and how you like my suit it's a lot darker than it looks uh, and my tie <laughs> It's crazy. Okay. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven. This is a prayer that Jesus made before his crucifixion. Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to his many as thou hast given him and this is life eternal that they might show thee the only true god now hang on while i switch page here and jesus christ whom thou hast sent I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Jesus was here before the world was, too. I told you all that many times before. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world, Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep thou, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name, those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And <clears throat> now I come to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but thou, that thou should keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. 
thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I sent them into the world. <clears throat> and for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also, which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may have that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. That's a sweet, wonderful prayer. Also, on your own, read chapter 16. I was going to do both, but I don't have time. I got to get in yonder really soon. Talk to y'all later.